In this video, I talk about vehicle attribute decisions. Um, I will discuss first what it is, then I show you a very simple example. Then I just basically uh, change the speed. Then I show you how can you filter it, and then I show you how to use the com interface help to get some help for it and for the functions in it. Um, if I miss something or something was confusing, just let me know in the comments. So first, what it does, <laughs> there are certain attributes that you can change during the simulation. And with this, basically, you can do that. Speed is a good example. So you place it on a lane, like you would place a desired speed decision, and it's a line. So it's just basically a decision point. If I double click on it, you can select it to be active only for a given time. You can add the name. Let's add the name speed change. You can set it to all vehicle types or certain ones. The target attribute is the attribute you want to target to change, basically. <laughs> so as you can see, at least the ones are available. I select speed. Speed at the end of the time step. You can have an object filter. You can assign the new value using a distribution or using a formula. The simplest possible is to use a distribution. So I go, uh, I do that first. As you can see, it's empty. So go on and add the new one. Base data, distribution, free. Plus. You can add normal. You can add empirical. I just add an empirical one. I want basically to change their speeds between 10 and 15 when a vehicle passes through. Currently, my vehicles are loaded with a speed um, of 50 km per hour, which is a distribution. So it's around 50. What I do, I start running it. Oh, sorry, I need to add. I forgot to add. Yeah, OK. So now vehicles should be uh, getting into the model. So let me just add the speed so we can see. Speed, no decimals. OK. So. and it dropped down to 14. And then, as you can see, it, it is accelerating back. Ah. It is now accelerating back. Because it overrides the speed. So another one comes and drops down. And again, it's a distribution. So it changed it to 11 now, because it's a distribution between 10 and 15. OK, but what if you only want to change the speed for the vehicles that goes too fast? You need to apply a filter. So click on here. And you need to type here. Here you have some stuff on the right side. So brackets, table lookups, insert functions, operands, operands and the operators. So if you go here, you can either get the speed or some other um, settings basically you want. So if you want like destination zone, parking lot, path, vehicle type, or even desired speed, 
So we can either check for desired speed or just speed. Let's just do the speed. So with speed, you can get operands from here, or you can just type them. So if the speed is more than 50, then I want to apply this formula. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Ah. Okay, so it is fast. It goes down to 14. It is 49. So its, its speed should not change. So this is just an example, probably quite a stupid one. <laughs> but um, it shows what it is for and how it works. And so let's let's do something more complex. Let's use a formula here. So I want to change, I want to apply this formula for vehicles there. But I can also remove this. And I can use here something. So let's deal with lanes. So operands. Uh, let no, let's let's go first to the functions. Let's find an if function. Conditional branch outputs W if B is true, outputs F is B is false. So this is the condition. This is it's true, it's false. So now I can change the lanes, for example. So how to change the lanes? Let's say I place it across each lane. I will duplicate it and copy paste it onto each lane. And I want for them, if they are in lane 2, I want them to move. Um, if they are lane 2, I want them to move to 1. If they are in, if they are not in lane 2, I want them to move to lane 2. So let's find lane. Lane. Again. So if you go here, click on it, it shows you some information. And I highly recommend that when you click on a vehicle, ah, let me just delete it and start it. So I want to show that if you click on a vehicle, you can have a quick help here. So the lane is stored like this. So link and then lane. But as you can see, there is a white space or a space there. But what you can also do, if you go to the help, com help, if you go to search, you put in vehicle, you go down and you'd find vehicle, so I vehicle, it says attributes, but there is one which says just I vehicle. So you can use both. Basically what we want is we want the vehicle attributes here. But if you go to vehicle, you go to the bottom, there is also vehicle attributes. So you can get to the same place. And here you can go for the, you can look for the attributes here. So if you go here to lane, Click on it. It describes you what's going on. Number of lane on which the vehicle is used. And also what happens if it's in a dynamic assignment. And here the value type. This is what you need. Reference to lanes. So reference, it basically gives you an information how you can reference it. So and here it says, to refer to your lane, you have to first give the key of the link, and after that, the number of lane. The resulting key should look like this. In general, you can refer to the list of the objects, blah, blah, blah. For example, you could use, okay, where the attribute could be like that. So there is a Y space, but it says, when using COM, you, could, uh, you can use the same key by just omitting the Y spaces. So it should help you to understand how Wizim actually internally uses this data. 
So again, here, in the attitude decision, when you use it, you need to refer to that. So let me then stop it and create this. So name, this is lane change. Attribute. Uh, desired lane. Because you can't change like lane directly, because that would mean it jumps to that lane, so it, it disappears from the quadrant lane and and goes there. But there is this desired lane at, um, attribute as well. This will basically tell it that it should change lane to that one. Okay. All vehicle types. I want uh, to filter. I don't want to use the filter now. I will use if here. So what we do as before, just find if, or I can just type it, but it's easier to say if. And let's find the lane that shows the number of lane the vehicle is using. Okay, so lane. I learned from the com that it uses that um, it uses it this way, and since you see these little, these ones, this shows that it is a string, so it is a text. So you need to use the same. So if that equals to two, so this means if the lane attribute, if the lane attribute equals to one, two, so link one and the second lane, then, it should output this if it is true and this if it is not true. <laughs> Since the desired lane is not a string, it's just a number, I just add the number. So if it is on two, I want it to be, go to four, and if it is not, I want it to go to two. Okay, and now I just duplicate this and place it on all lanes, like that. And now see what did I forget, or if it works, if it works. Like I switch off the label. And now you can click on it, so you can see the lane. It is two, it is three. Now, uh, destination lane is two. For this, there is no destination lane, so it doesn't want to change lanes yet. And it's currently in lane two. It goes to three. Is it in three? It wants to go to two. Again, now this guy goes to three. Sorry, two. Yes, so it showed three because it needs to change first to three and then to two. So it can't change two lanes immediately. But as you can see, you don't need to deal with that. Vizim will deal with it. Now it goes up to first to three and then to four. Yeah. Well, this is a bit of different from the other videos. Uh, just let me know if you're interested in such, um, basically, how to say it, like intermediate or, or, you know, not beginner videos. So in these codings or even com interface or just to go into a bit more detail into these kind of formulas and uh, attributes and things like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like, please uh, subscribe and consider liking and commenting the video. That would help the channel uh, to get um, better views and to grow.